Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR news video here. Today, we're going to be talking about the V28 update for the Quest 2 and Microsoft Flight Simulator receiving a massive update as well. But first off, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, so some big news hit in the Oculus world where it has been revealed that a big update is about to drop that will add several very significant features. And those features are 100 120 hertz refresh rate desktop and keyboard tracking as well as probably the most interesting air link the air link feature which will allow for wireless streaming from your pc so apparently there isn't a whole lot out there to take advantage of the 120 hertz refresh rate upgrade and you know the keyboard and desk tracking is kind of like yeah whatever i've voiced my opinion in the past where i don't really think that's a feature a whole lot of people are going to use but i guess better to have it than not have it at all but yeah the airlink feature uh, will allow people to wirelessly stream pc vr games from your pc through a wi-fi connection and in order to use it you will need the v28 update on both the headset and on your pc in the past updates for the two have not released at the exact same time so you know, maybe they'll be released by the time this uploads, I don't know. But um, that was important to point out, I thought, as well as that this is going to be in experimental mode, which means performance probably won't be amazing and it's something that they'll work on as time progresses. But with all of that said, there is some controversy surrounding the feature. Uh, the biggest being probably Facebook's desire to... Some would say steal, but that's a little bit of a strong word, but basically copy apps that smaller developers have created, thus crushing the little guy, so to speak, which in turn makes puts the app out of business pretty much. And that is where Virtual Desktop comes in, which has been around for some time now, and it can do pretty much everything Airlink can as well. And the creator of Virtual Desktop has voiced his frustration in the past regarding Facebook's tactics here, and his app even got blocked from the Oculus Store, which meant you had to sideload it to get it running. But a couple of months ago, Facebook re-accepted it into the Oculus Store as we speak, and you can get it now for $19.99. Anyway, UploadVR.com reached out to the creator of Virtual Desktop, Guy Godin, for comment on Facebook's new Airlink feature, and here are a few highlights of what he said. In 2017, Facebook copied the base functionality of Virtual Desktop on Rift and incorporated it in their platform, essentially making my app obsolete. That's what they do. If you have a popular app on Quest today, expect Facebook to copy you and leave you in the dust. He then goes on to say that Virtual Desktop will have some new features soon that he thinks will help it survive going down the road. So unfortunately, you know, making a successful app on Oculus these days is kind of scary. You know, because if it becomes super popular, Facebook might just go and copy it. And then you have an app that will probably die. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this situation as well as what you're most excited about for this update. All right, and in our last bit of news, speaking of updates, we have a pretty major update in Flight Simulator where World Update 4 has now been released, which includes visual upgrades to a number of locations, including France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. And the trailer you're watching right now is actually showing off this new update which looks pretty amazing and although these features and this update I should say can be experienced in VR as well there unfortunately aren't any VR specific improvements to functionality or features uh, we got UploadVR.com pointing out this. As for VR specific changes, there isn't much. Developer Asobo has added a page about VR for cockpits in the game's documentation and that's pretty much it. So yeah, cool to see things progressing forward for the game, but hopefully the developers will pay a little more attention to the VR experience regarding their game. Uh, because it's one of the most epic VR experiences one can have when it's a smooth experience, and that's a big when. Anyways, that's all for this one. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.